place for me there, but I don't know if I'm going on. Uh. I heard them say they want the old gunner. Hey. I'm still talking about these in the road runners. That's what it was. I used to get my ass beat just because I ran away, hit the trap. They couldn't make me budge. Junior here, my homie selling crack right off the Coming up next, it is a featherweight matchup between Anthony Showtime Pettis and Jose Alba. Ready. You ready to fight? Watching the UFC back inside Bell Center here in Montreal, and I don't know if there's something in the water, in the beer, in the walls, but these people make noise like few MMA fans are. Maybe it's something in the weather. They're escaping the snow yeah. to go inside the Bell Center, and once they're there, they're doing all those other things, John. They're drinking the beer. They're taking in the great fights, and they are cheering as loud as they can. They want to be heard. They make themselves a part of the competition, and the fighters love it. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! to the well with that right hand, it's no good. There's just over 20 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pettis. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin Touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook. Pivoted off the right hand. Big left hook lands. What a great punch. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Aldo's lower jaw now started to show signs of swelling. What a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Aldo gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Outstanding offering there lands from Anthony Showtime Pettis. Oh! So, 130 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, a huge round, particularly when it came to that liver strike that really buckled his opponent. It buckled his opponent bad. I'm surprised that the guy's still standing. I don't know exactly what his corner can do to try to bring him back. When you take those types of strikes, you generally don't recover fast. Let's see what they do to try to bring him back. Five minutes down. Here we go with round two. Anthony Showtime Pettis versus Jose L. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again? Here I mean, what? you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. 
His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. So 55 total strikes have landed for Anthony Pettis. And the accuracy rate about 42% now against Jose Alves. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. It won't take many of those. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Pettis. Oh, another brutal hook by him there. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He was able to fight through them in the previous round. Still plenty of time to go in this. Still plenty of time to go in this round. And if he is not careful, one of those hooks will put him to sleep. Beautiful straight right hand there from Anthony Showtime Pettis. Maybe we'll see another Superman hook later tonight, DC. Of course, he executed that move to perfection not all that long ago against Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent he's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Punch coming, it's blocked. Aldo gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Pettis gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Ten minutes in the books. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Head kick there, blocked by Pettis. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. 83 total strikes have landed for Anthony Showtime Pettis. And striking at a 40% clip tonight thus far against Jose L. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Under three minutes remain in round three. Aldo's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. All right, side control now. Beats the elbow there. We have just reached the midway point of the fight. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pettis. Back to the feet now. Whoa! Oh, oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. Now we go inside the octagon.